Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm back in the G20. I haven't picked up my new car yet. That's replacing the M140i. I know that was the last video that I did uh, about me selling it. But I just thought in the interim I'll do a video on the G20. Hopefully this is the vid that you G20 guys that have been following the channel I have been waiting for because I've not been out in that first drive. I have driven this car so it's not going to be a first drive video. But uh, I just thought I'll you know take this car around the back roads. I've not taken the car around the back road, so it is kind of a first kind of a drive vid. Quickly give you a walk around of the car and give you my thoughts comparing this to the F30, uh, which was my previous 320 diesel. Let's go and do that right now. decided to jump into the car only because it's quite windy out there now we're in September the leaves are falling heading into autumn we're already into autumn actually um, and it's getting quite windy and I wanted to just quickly just go over the kind of uh, spec of the car obviously I have done the full in-depth spec uh, vlog please go and visit that it'll hopefully come up on the screen somewhere now so essentially the two main packs that I've had fitted to this car are the Tech Pack and the M Sport Plus Pack. The M Sport Plus Pack essentially includes these gorgeous 19 inch Bicolor 791M 19 inch alloy wheels. We've got the M Sport braking system behind them as you can see you've got the blue calipers. You also get the adaptive M suspension that is a must now because the car rides pretty good without it but with the M Sport Plus Pack you do get the M adaptive suspension and we'll find out how good that is on the drive. You also get the some protection glass around the rear and you get the high gloss shadow line as well as you can see here. Uh, you get this little M rear spoiler to be honest with you it doesn't really do a lot but it's there anyway. The tech pack that includes the head-up display, the enhanced Bluetooth, the gesture control system on the iDrive 7 and it's wired up to be like to have the Wi-Fi hotspot. You also get the Harman Kardon sound system which sounds absolutely amazing. So what we've done here is I've placed two cones in front of the car. I'm gonna go through it like a slalom and we're gonna then hit the reversing assistant and the car's gonna reverse right through it. Hopefully this will work as the, I have tried it a few times. Um, so let's just see how it sort of goes. Hopefully we we'll get some external shots in as well. Just a beautiful interior, can't knock it. So here we go, there's a cone right there, which I'm just going around. And here. And now we have just come to a stop. So now I'm gonna put the car into reverse. I've got the reversing assistant here. I've got my camera assistant there and straight away, I've now let go of the steering wheel. So I'm gonna just put my hands here. I have to observe my surroundings and brake manually and accelerate. And as you can see, the car is gonna go through the same place, the same cones, the same kind of position, all on its own. It's doing it all by itself. Got 13 more yards to go. It's a great feature for when you get into that kind of a tricky situation and you know you kind of think oh my god how am I going to get out of here I have used this feature a few times because I have been in that situation it's now telling me I only got 1.7 yards to go before I get back to the same kind of position and there we go that is exactly where I was when I started this procedure brilliant so Behind the wheel of the G20. I can't express how much it makes me smile every time I sit behind like the steering wheel. 
this whole dash design is a huge step up I've said it enough times on all the kind of G20 content that I've put up so far such a huge kind of step up from the previous generation the sort of fit and finish of it is way better not a single kind of button or you know sort of switch gear carried forward from the previous version apart from the indicator switches and the and the wipers um, it is literally honestly it is a huge step up any G series car that you kind of sit into like now apart from say the 5 series and the 7 series perhaps because um, they've been out a lot longer like say the new 1 series this 3 series um, the new Z4 the 8 series they've all got this new kind of uh, dash design and obviously not to mention the X7 and the X5 the whole dash design is literally pulled out of those bigger cars and thrown into like say this 3 series this engine for example is the 320 diesel engine so it's a 2 litre twin turbo this time so you got a small turbo and a big turbo and that in itself is a huge step up from say the B47 that we had in the previous 3 series the power in itself is exactly the same it's 190 horsepower 400 newton meters of torque so that hasn't changed but what has changed is how linear that power is now so previously like you know at times it would I want to say catch you out but it was a bit of a lumpy kind of like say an engine it was still a quite a refined engine um, but it was a little bit lumpy so for example like it'd run out of like say puff you'd have to wait for the turbo to spool up it was a twin scroll but with this being twin turbo it is quite linear and like you get the power in the lower range and then in the higher range of the RPM these seats they are probably the most comfiest seats that I've ever been in from the BMWs that I've certainly owned so I've owned obviously my M140i which has got the same seats as the previous generation 3 series I've owned a 5 series as well which obviously the that was the F10 that had wider seats but these just feel they've got a little bit more support the cushioning is just right you can of course bring these bolsters in as well the steering wheel that feels really nice it is quite a nice chunky M Sport steering wheel all the controls on the steering wheel are exactly where you'd want them to be uh, and it's just got a real nice kind of feel the M emblem at the bottom here rather than it previously being like a little gel it's now kind of carved into this kind of aluminium trim which again it's quite a nice feature you might have noticed that these seat belts have also got like a M stripe going through them that is part of the M Sport Plus pack I know that you know you pure M car fanboys out there are going to be quite annoyed because you've got lots of M emblems and M dialogue going on in this car and it's not a full on M car um, and to be honest with you I know that the M brand is becoming a bit diluted with all of this it is just the way BMW are like going their way just trying to get a lot of that sort of characteristic into their regular cars um, it's not like something that you'd want to go and stick on afterwards clearly I've not done that but it's there anyway I'm now going to talk to you about the refinement of this 320 diesel the previous generation the F30 the 320 diesel engine in that the B47 because mine was the LCI car that felt quite gruff it felt quite intrusive into the cabin every time you floor it and it kind of took the shine off like how that car was meant to be and how it actually came out well my example anyway this is way more quieter it's way more refined all around us here we've got the acoustic glass uh, windscreen we got double glazed windows around here all that helps keep that diesel engine sound out of the cabin I even believe the A-pillars are filled with foam a lot of sound deadening material has gone into this uh, into this car and from where I'm sitting it certainly has worked because I've literally stepped out of the F30 and straight into the G20 so for me I can really compare this back to back another thing is that with the M Sport Plus pack you get the adaptive suspension and what that basically does is it obviously adapts to the way that you drive and in comfort mode the car is quite comfortable and in sport mode the car becomes obviously a little bit firmer you have got an option here that you can customize your sport modes so you know the damping controls the suspension setup uh, the engine how responsive you want it the gearbox and, and what have you I'm on the country lane now so what I'm gonna do now is flick the car into its sport mode gearbox into sport as well I'm in sport individual and I've set this car up to how I want it the 
head up display changes that power delivery is pretty good guys I'll be honest with you I mean this car gets from A to B way quicker than the previous car did 0 to 60 in this 6.8 seconds a 3 series that accelerates to 60 that number beginning with a 6 and in the form of a 2 litre diesel that is quite phenomenal when you put the car into sport mode the whole cockpit down here kind of changes the uh, driver's display the head up display as well you get like the rev counter coming up I'm just going to show the car a little bit of corners what I'll do in this case is I'm going to stick the car into sport mode so everything is kind of turned up now so straight away I can feel that the car is a little bit firmer I didn't have adaptive suspension in the F30 I have got it in here so let's see if that makes any difference I will put the car into manual mode flick it down a gear and another one and you know what it's still quite quiet you know it's really refined and that's the beauty of this with the F30 every time I put it into sport mode I used to put it back into comfort because the car would make a real horrible grunty kind of noise and I mean this obviously I'm not saying it's like super smooth or anything but from behind the wheel you don't hear any of that kind of grunt of a 2 litre diesel which is quite off putting revs really cleanly to its 5000 red line I know it doesn't rev to about seven or 8000 but it's pretty good for a diesel for a 2 litre diesel guys this thing is pretty good and it gets down the road really well oh my god you know what they've actually I mean this is pretty much a first drive bit because I've not been out in this car on these roads and you can probably guess from the smile on my face that this is quite quick and it gives you a lot of assurance that you know what you to push the car keep pushing it doing a serious amount of speed there it's phenomenal the whole chassis the whole body control of this car is pretty much flat through the corners I am honestly guys this is no BS and I'm not being biased around my kind of review here if you want to call it a review just because this is my car I'm not going to be biased having owned the F30 and now into this car they've not only just upped the game on like say the interior and design and what have you the whole driving dynamics they've moved it on a whole level a whole level I mean this is like I said before the 320 diesel I don't see the point in me getting say the 330 diesel or the 330i uh, only because I've got my weekend toy for that anyway so obviously as you guys know I've got my M140i which is soon to be changed for something different so for that kind of a kick I've got something else and you know if this kind of ride gets a bit too much you just whack the car into sport individual you can configure that how you want it to be configured and you can slacken off the suspension and have the power so guys there we have it the G20 I've taken it for that first drive I am totally blown away how a kind of standard boggle 320 diesel has handled those roads over the F30 that I had it's not just a design upgrade the whole car has been like totally revamped from the floor up and obviously guys you know what if you've not been in this and you're in your F30 and you're kind of thinking you know need a new kind of car and you might be going towards like say the Mercedes or the A4 definitely check this out because it is a completely different car to the F30 hopefully in this video I've covered pretty much everything I wanted to and hopefully that message has come across to you guys uh, through that sort of drive uh, sort of vid I am in a few days time going to pick up the the replacement for the M140i so guys do stay tuned uh, you know for that content as well there'll be quite a lot going on obviously you know eagle-eyed viewers will be thinking this car doesn't have the M performance kit on it that is true kit hasn't arrived it's still on back order I'm still waiting for it uh, that will obviously be get covered in due course uh, hopefully guys you've enjoyed this video give it a, a thumbs up 
uh, subscribe to the channel for more content on the G20 over like say the course of the next few weeks and hopefully guys I'll see you on the next one take care bye